Hello friends, today we're going to make some snake juice jello gummies inspired by Cole of snake diet fame. Ah! Sugar! Sugar! Oh my god, I'm going to die! And basically we're going to use some lemonade, beef gelatin, and some electrolyte powders, uh, potassium chloride, regular table salt, and magnesium chloride, and we're going to make some nice salty lemonade gummies. I'm gonna have my special charged up with electrolytes t-shirt on to commemorate, so let's get into it. I measured out six servings of the lemonade, which is 240 mils per serving, or eight ounces, so that's about 1440. Um, we put that in a cold pan. Now we're going to do one scoop of gelatin per serving, which is about 15 grams per scoop. And we're going to try and get that nice and evenly across the surface of the juice. As you can see, it's starting to bloom. I think it's that funky. I actually just realized that I messed up the order. I would usually put the electrolytes in first, um, but we're just gonna go with it. So we're gonna let that bloom. You'll know it's bloomed when you don't really see any dry gelatin anymore. If you pour it too fast, it's gonna clump. So you wanna, you wanna pour it slow and that's why you distribute it evenly around the pan. If you have some dry spots, you can gently whisk it to get it going. Just try to dunk it in there. You might have some spots of dry gelatin. Now that is all bloomed nicely. We haven't mixed it up yet. Um, ideally, I would have mixed the salt in at the beginning before the gelatin, but I forgot. We do not um, care. So now we're going to mix in our electrolytes. So first we have one quarter teaspoon of sodium, and I'm just gonna use regular diamond crystal kosher salt. And a quarter teaspoon of that is uh, 280 milligrams of sodium, and we have six servings, so I'm going to just put one, quarter teaspoon per serving. We are going to mix this as we gently heat it. I don't know if that was three. <laughs> Four, five, six. We might have had a little extra there, but I like salt, so we're gonna roll with it. And then we have potassium chloride. We're also gonna do a quarter teaspoon of that per serving, so that's 260 milligrams of potassium. A few moments later. And lastly, we are going to do magnesium chloride. Um, we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of that also, which is 120 milligrams. So that's six magnesium. Okay, now we have everything ready to go. What we're going to do. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. Is Put that over very low heat and we're going to whisk it. You just want to heat it enough that the kind of grainy texture uh, from the bloom smooths out and gets nice. Um, you don't want to whisk it too hard or it will uh, kind of bubble up and, and froth up and you might get some bubbles. You won't get a smooth surface on your final jello. So as that heats up, we're going to gently mix it. We definitely want to give it a decent mix because we put that, put all the electrolytes on top. Which again, if I redid the video, which I don't want to do, I would mix the electrolytes in the just regular lemonade before adding the gelatin, but it should work just fine. So now you can see that that texture changing and we're able to kind of bring it back to that liquid state. And now you're just gonna pour that into a big baking dish. And then all you're gonna do with that is cool it in the kitchen oh. for about two, three hours. And you will have nice jello squares with electrolytes. It's got electrolytes. Sugar! 